Good afternoon. My name is Sohani Sharma. I'm from Delhi Public School, Chandigarh. And today I'll be presenting an eco-friendly product made from managing waste effectively. It's called Eco Logs and it's made from a blend of cow dung and shredded coconut waste. My aim is to transform cremations using sustainable innovations. During our field visits, we noticed that cow dung waste and coconut shell waste posed a major challenge to municipal bodies. They clog drains, create unclean environments, and pollute water bodies. We know that Hindus, Jains, Buddhists, they all cremate their dead. The first time I saw the usage of cow dung in cremations was actually during my grandfather's cremation in April this year. I was fascinated by the concept of cow dung being used in cremations. I researched and got to know that 500 kilograms of wood is used for a single cremation. This is equivalent to two trees grown over 10 to 15 years. After coming back to Chandigarh, I visited local crematoriums and local gaushalas to understand the practices. So there I realized that uplas pose an optical problem. People were uncomfortable using them in cremating their dead. And plus, the cow dung has a very low calorific value when you compare it to wood. So after that, I studied literature, I compared machinery models, and did a lot of lab testing, and finally arrived on the solution of ecologues. In North India, because of the increased consumption of coconut, especially in the recent years, coconut waste has become a major hazard. Lakhs of tons of waste is produced every year. And coconut on its own takes 10 years to fully decompose. And lots of times, coconut collects rainwater or the uh, water that's stored in it. It acts as breeding grounds for mosquitoes, which is a big public health hazard. We even convinced the municipal corporation Mohali to set up a shredder for their coconut waste at the RMC, Resource Material Center. Over here, all of the city's waste comes, it's collected, it's sorted and properly disposed of. So currently, we are using an automatic machine to combine the cow dung and shredded coconut waste to form the ecologues. These ecologues have a central hole in the middle which allows for easy combustion and easy drying. They, they're usually 2.5 to 3 feet long and they weigh about 1 kg after drying. They're sun dried which makes them strong and sturdy. We have set up a machine at the Mohali Gaushala which is producing ecologues which are being transported to a nearby crematorium. This innovation creates demand for cow dung and hence value for non-milk producing cows. So we did the testing at the Thapar Technology Center in Patala. Over there we saw that the calorific value of cow dung is very low, 1640 kilocalories per kg. Whereas the calorific value of wood is 3500 kilocalories per kg. However, we realized that if you mix one part of shredded coconut with five part of cow dung, we can get the calorific value of these ecologues to be almost equivalent to that of wood. These are the results from the lab testing. This is a very scalable and replicable innovation. Testing shows that mixing dry leaves in the same proportion as shredded coconut waste can also increase the calorific value of these ecologues. So these blended ecologues are strong, have a high public acceptability, they're quick to dry, easy to handle, easy to transport, and most of all, they're environment friendly. So if we do some math, we'll see that 600 cows produce about five ton of cow dung daily. And 600 shells of coconut waste can produce up to 0.75 ton of coco peat. Combined together, these can produce two ton of ecologues. And this is equivalent to two ton of tree wood used for cremations. So since 500 kg of tree wood is used for a single cremation, two tons of ecologues can be used for four cremations. And in the Balongi crematorium, we saw that an average of eight cremations happen every day. So currently we're substituting half of their cremations with ecologues and in the process saving eight trees every day. And if we look at the cost, see tree wood costs rupees eight per kg locally. So that means 4,000 rupees for each single cremation. Whereas ecologues only cost rupees three per kg. And this includes the cost for transport, storage, labor, and drying. Additionally, with the decline in forest, the cost of tree wood is likely to go up. The project has promoted the use of other cow dung based products as well, like these pots for uh, planting saplings, diyas, 
especially during the Diwali season, uh, a lot of people came to the Gaushala and actually uh, got them, and vermicompost as well. All of these add to the soil's fertility and promote sustainable practices. Thank you.